Hope you enjoy, everyone. This is Solomon Ozzy in my latest review on the latest episode of Sailor Moon Crystal. Uh, we get to find out a lot in this episode, a whole lot. Uh, things we knew, things we didn't know, you know, and some interesting st plot points. All right, you know. All right, we have to learn some secrets, like, for example, oh, you know, Mistress Nine, who has taken over Hotaru's body, is, is, is was a longtime partner of Master of Arrow 90, 90, you know. In, in his previous life, before you know, before you know the fall of his kingdom or whatever you know, oh, and he re and he gave, and he gave her and he gave her essence to Hotaru's father so he can implant her into Hotaru. Oh, so basically you say so basically through that that's how he has the connection, and that's how Hotaru's body got taken over. We also get to see the history of Hotaru's father. You know, we on if you guys remember from the previous episodes, you know when it first started. And her father was a scientist. He kept experimenting on stuff and technology. However, you know, he got kicked out because some of his technology and theories were too radical, too crazy in experiments, experiments, you know. And, and despite that, he still wanted to prove himself, you know. But beyond that, that he was better than his peers, the peers who mocked him, he, him who he hates, the ones who literally kicked him out of, out of being, you know, a, of a, you know, of science, basically, who mocked him. Basically, this is his way of Trying to prove that he was right and was wrong. We also get to learn that he and that he first encountered Master Pharaoh 90 when he was operating on Hotaru. He would try to when he was using her, you know, to test his theories, you know, experimenting, and that's how he and that he, and Madness Coordinator was once his assistant before he she got taken over. You pledge your loyalty to you, me, and I'll give you more power. So basically. And, and he even took one of those eggs, one of those Damon eggs. He took one of them, swallowed them, and it changed his body. And that's why he had in one eye it's normal, the other is white. It has a, it has a moon, it has you know a star at the in the middle in the pupil. It makes sense, you know, given the situation. Basically, he he felt jealous, angry. He was confused. He, he he was drawn to the power, uh, and he became twisted by it, you know. Basically, he he's total mad scientist. He wants to create a whole new, who life form. But basically, experiments and experimenting on people. He wants to create you know a whole new master race of alien human hybrids, the demons, you know, and the, and the death busters, you know. That's that's his goal. He wants to prove that he's right. He's definitely twisted. And Hotaru, she knows this. She sees this, and she sees what he he's become, you know. But she still loves him because he's still. But he's still her father, basically her adopted father, but her father nonetheless. And, you know, it's definitely very interesting to see fit. And we also got to learn that Hotaru, even she still has some control of her body, and to the point where she tries to resist as Master Mera Nine uses Mistress Nine to, Nine to absorb the legendary Silver Crystal as she begins the ceremony to bring back Master Pharaoh Nine. He, he as he takes the essence, she fights back, even drawing some of the essence away. To use it to restore some of Chibi Yusa's life, basically, he, he's trying to say, basically she stopped these chopping these spears so she can live the life of her friend, saying that I will protect you, uh, which is this is a good sign, basically. I said this before, uh, it, she is still inside. Her Taro is just you know being used. That, that, that means she there's a part of her that's still inside. That means she has the potential to fight back at any point, literally fight back against these people and against everything they stand for, basically. You know, remember, these are, remember, she's just a part of something she doesn't understand, which means she, uh, she can fight back. She's not just a tool that they can use, you know, whatever they, whatever, you know, they wish to see. Okay. Okay. Also, I mean, and this is, also, you gotta and be poignant, you know, uh, Wataru, you know, doing all this, and, because she really cares for Chibiusa, because Chibiusa was kind of her first friend, and, 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 and someone she trusts. She's also telling her to, the cape they take to guard the crystal, keep it with you always, and never show it to anyone needlessly. You know, and it's true. Is it wasn't for Chibiusa showing the crystal to to Hotaru, who Master Pharaoh Nine would have never found out about it. You know. And anyway, situ anyway, situation continues. Like the the group split us into two into into the, the group split up into two. I like Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury. They go up while Sailor Moon, Uranus. Pluto, and Neptune, they go down, you know, you know, all this stress, all this bad stuff, you know, it's starting to get to Sailor Moon a little bit, you know, 
knowing that she has to fight these death busters going down deeper and deeper into the dark abyss you know fighting back you know against this you know she wants to win she also not just for herself and for the future she also has to do this so she can save the life of chibi usa to take that to crystal and to restore her soul you know um you know it's this thing however she even asked that the others are they scared are, are you are you guys scared as well uh, they said well, and um say the uranus the hooker said and said that I would be lying if I wasn't. Like, they think back to the time when they were alone, you know. Each of these these people, each of these Sailor Guardians, you know, they were all alone for a long time in their lifetimes. You know, dur and during and after the fall of the Super Millennium. And they were alone, ever watching, ever waiting for a a sign to appear. A, a sign into what to do next. And, said, and they were lonely for a long time. But in that, but in those moments, they would think back to the Super Millennium. Think of Queen Serenity and the Princess, and and what brings them, and and, and what makes them happy. Think about those times. Like in a way, they are the light in the darkness. That 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 is to shine through. And remember, her Sailor Moon is the reincarnation of Princess Serenity. So in a way, she she is the light that will pierce the darkness. And she even fall, and they and, and they even get trapped a little bit. They get trapped, you know. They all pass out in the elevator, and then from this deep darkness, she is starting to feel a bit scared. But she rallies back, knowing if she does not win, she will not win. Then everybody loses. It's not just her loss; it's everybody's loss. You know, and she still fears the future. Uh, will Hotaru awaken as Sailor Saturn? You know, will the future be bleak and full of destruction as the Silver Millennium once did in the past? That she. That she she doesn't know that, but she wants to stop them. Okay. Anyway, the fight ensues. She finally confronts the professor. You know, this dude is literally madness. And she confronts them. Them showing up. You know, it's a it's a sm it's a fight is pretty fast paced. He even transforms himself into a demon, uh, a demon. And but he say he's not a demon. He's a he's a new super be perform on um, a human. Alien hybrid, human alien hybrid, a super being. He's calling himself basically, saying that he's perfect and will make a world full of new perfect creatures. He's obviously gone, you know, very mental and to the point where Doctor Frankenstein, like Frankenstein, he's just piecing parts together to create whole new monsters. You know, taking the parts of people and other stuff and mixing it to create whole new life forms. That's just total Frankenstein moment, and he is kind of nuts. And however. Uh, she's not, however, they can't, can't afford to lose. Even though, you know, Sailor Moon doesn't want to destroy him because she is Otaru's father. But he, but Yurin has said he is our enemy. Anyway, if we don't win, or win this, they are doomed, you know. Even though it hurts her, she does deliver the final blow. But Hotaru, she can, she knows what happened. She saw it. And she can, she knows what happened, you know. I kind of feel bad for Otaru, even though, you no, know, he did use her up. He was still her father, you know, which I said this before and I'll say it again. I do feel bad for Hotaru as a character for being used. It was, anyway, when it looks like things going bad, some kind of re, some kind of uh, event happening. It looks like Master of Veronine is going to be resurrected. Then uh, the other Sailor Scouts, the other Sailor Guardians, Jupiter, Neptune, Mars, Mars Venus, and they're all in trouble. Oh, they all suffer a blow. Oh, she can feel the disconnection between them. Do you, she feels something happening to Sailor Moon. And this just gives her even more worry. What's going to happen next? Well, there's going to be an epic fight. All right, will the truth be revealed? Are we going to see an epic moment? Yeah, from the looks of the preview, I hope so. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the comments. Thank you. This is Sullivan Adams. Give a list of you who on, who on Sailor Moon Crystal. You know, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thank you. In your opinion, comment, subscribe. And that's all I got to say. Peace. I'm out.